quality sushi families order real numbers objected to review concept of order and graph inequality. Wee! Run away, pumpkin. All right, now, inequalities, order of real numbers. I'm going to talk about, before we solve equations, now we're going to solve inequations or inequalities. We're going to use a lot of the same things that we did before, but let's, let's start off pretty simple. Section one, we're talking about order. Okay, remember, there's a number line here, and all numbers are stacked up, you know. Um, and there's things that you know, but sometimes you take advantage of, uh, of these things. Um, so let's, let's just think about this. Uh, we know the relationship between negative 3 and 2. Here it is. Here's negative 3. Here's 2. We know negative 3 is to the left of 2 on the number line. So we can also say negative 3 is less than 2. And the way we write it symbolically is with this nice little symbol. This is a true statement. Negative 3 is less than 2. Let's compare a couple other numbers. Let's look at 1 and negative 1. Here we go. These two. Notice that 1 is to the right of negative 1, isn't it? Isn't 1 to the right side of negative Yes. Isn't 1 more than negative 1? Yes. And the way you write it like this, 1 is to the right of negative 1. Negative 3 is to the left of 2. More than, less than. All right. Now, we've got a new thing here called between. Suppose x was unknown, but we know that it's between two numbers. For example, suppose you know it's between negative 2 and 5. We know it's between it, so we know x is somewhere Somewhere in here. We don't know where x is. It could be anywhere in here. But we know it's between negative 2 and 5. Hmm. So we can say we know x is greater than negative 2. It's greater than negative 2 because it's on the right. x is to the right of negative 2. And x is to the left of, negative five, left, left of 5. The way you can combine it is like this. x is, if you look at the left side, x is greater than negative 2. x is less than 5. Now, we're saying that x has to be less than, or ha it has to be between them. But suppose x could be equal to one of them. Well, there's another way you write it. We put a little, we go like this. We put a little, a little line underneath there that says x is greater than or equal to this. X is less than or equal to 5, because maybe x would be 1. But here we're saying it's just between, you know, not in included. Here we're saying included. We'll talk about that in the next section. But here we have it right here. We're going to talk about how to graph these right now. To graph this guy... Uh, we'll go back to the simple one here. Um, we're talking about negative 2, which is right here, and 5, which is here. We know that um, x is greater than this, negative 2. It's on this side, and on the left of this, we need to graph this, and here's how you do it. Ready? Circle, circle, fill it in. That tells you that x can be anywhere in here. Okay? x must be in there. It can be any of those things. It's like putting a dot everywhere. Right? Now, here we go. Let's see if we change these equalities to, I mean, these inequalities to less than or, or equal to. Um, change it a little bit. We'll see how these things graph. Again, we're still at negative 2. We're doing this negative 2, 5 thing. And you know what's interesting? There's still going to be a circle on each one, right? Because we're talking about this relationship. So you can walk up, right? You see the two numbers, the relation, it makes circles. And here, x is greater to the, to the right of this guy and to the left of this guy. So we know it's going to be between, but watch this. It's still less than 5, so it's not including 5. We don't fill this in. But it can be, it could be equal to negative 2. Because it could be, we fill this circle in and it says, hey, negative 2 is a possibility. It's possible that it could be negative 2. So we fill it in with a circle. Right? We fill in the circle. But it's not possible to be 5, so we leave it open so you know that you don't con 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 consider 5 um, one of the solutions. Now here we have it the other way around. It has to be greater than negative 2, not equal, so we can't fill this in. It can't be equal to that. But it could be equal to 5, so we fill in this side, right? And that's how we graph it. And finally, the last one, it could be negative 2 or 5, so it could be each of these, so we fill in both. So basically, when it's equal to, you fill in the hole, right? When it's only greater than or less than, keep it open, because you're not considering that as a possible solution. Just like equalities, inequalities can be true or false. Let's look at these guys quick. Well, the absolute, let's see, is 4 greater than negative 4? Yes, true. Let's see this guy. Is 4, the absolute value 4, less than or equal to 4? Yes, true, because it's equal to 4. So saying less than or equal to is true. We'll talk about that later on. Um, is, we know negative 25 is less than negative 10, but is the absolute value, let's see, is 25 less than 10? No, false. What about this? Is 61 less than 18? No! False! Let's see, is 2 thirds greater than or equal to 0? Yeah, because but then the, 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 the negative 2 thirds isn't, but absolute value makes it positive. True! Over here, 
Is 4 between 0 and 8? Well, let's see. Is 4 greater than, yeah, 0. Is 4 less than, yeah. True. So look at this. Is 12 greater than 0? Yeah. Is 12 less than, no. False. Because they're not, they both have to be true. Let's see. Is negative 8 greater than negative 9? Yes. Is negative 8 to the right of negative 9? Yes. Is negative 8? I mean, sorry, is negative 6 to the right of negative 8? Yeah. So you know negative 8 is less than negative 6. You know negative 9 is less than negative 8. This whole thing is true, so you consider both. What about 0? Is 6 greater than 0? Yeah. Is 6 to the is 6 to the right of 0? Yeah. Let's look over here. Is 0 to the right of 2? <laughs> no! And let's see these guys. Is 0.5 less than or equal to 0.5? Yes. True. So just like we do with equations. Ready? Let's take a look at this guy. Remember... Either way, you write this, they're both true. X is less than or equal to negative 5. The same thing of saying negative 5 is greater than or equal to X. Negative 5 is greater than or equal to X. So all, all the possibilities that X can be are down there either way. All right? Think about that. Okay? You just took this whole thing and went... Okay? Have a nice day! See you later. Runaway pumpkin!